All right, got a pretty ridiculous letter here I'm going to be reading and answering and rebuking. Uh, just to show you the kind of demonic attacks that come against us here, just into the hundreds now. It's just crazy. Uh, there's a lot of people that hate me. Charles Schmier from Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, but it's funny. It's so ridiculous. I felt compelled in the spirit to tell you something on uh, February 11th of 2018. I had a dream about you in the dream. You lost your ministry, then you lost your wife. She did not die. She just left you. This is the first dream I have ever had that was so clear and so real. Well, I'm convinced already. I believe it is Father God telling me to warn you. Repent, you dirty, wicked, filthy sinner, you. I mean, the Holy Spirit is going gonna, is gonna to want my marriage to break up. You know? And the Holy Spirit inspires some of you devils out there to try and go after my son. You people make me so stinking sick. My word. Number one. You disabled your comment section on YouTube, your, your YouTube videos. Yes, to get rid of troll devils like you. Number two, soon after that, you got on YouTube and informed your YouTube subscribers you had financial issues. Yeah, I'm being honest. I'm being, I'm, I'm, what am I supposed to do? Paul did it. You know, do you, do you people even listen to what I say? I explained it. But let, listen to this. It's, it cracks me up. In my dream, you had a, Two followers, one a new Christian and one a seasoned Christian, you meet with them and ask them, what Bible do they use? They both showed you it was a KJV Bible, but you looked at something in the two Bibles, then you looked at yours and found something that you informed both of your followers that you would not teach them anymore and kick them out of your ministry. Wow, what deep revelations. After that happened, we looked and saw the reason you did not like our Bibles was because there was a difference between your KJV Bible and the two followers' KJV Bible was the typeface and font size. It was at this point your wife left you, and soon after that, you went downhill fast. Okay, moron. Let me just explain something to you. Strong rebuke. If you don't like it, shut it off. Okay, right here, rocks for brains is a 1771 uh, writing, a tract, written in 1771 about, it is called, An Admonition Against Profane and Common Swearing by the Bishop of London. In 1771, it was written in Gothic font. And you know what? I'm going to be preaching this in an upcoming video. And my wife retyped it for me into modern Roman font from old Gothic font. But... Your dream from your your God has my wife leaving me after I told her about font and things like this. A few more uh, things I need to say here in just a little bit. These are the scriptures, verses you need to read. John 21, verse 15 through 17. Psalm 37, verse 25. Okay, sure, we'll turn there. I'm going to get back to another thing here in just a minute. John chapter 21. God showed me that your marriage broke up. <laughs> wow. Gee, thanks there. Because I because I shut the comment section down. Now my marriage is breaking up. Because you wicked devils can't get in and mess with me anymore. John 21, verse 15 through 17. So when they had dined... Jesus said, saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all these all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't feed the sheep now, do I? Just over 1,300 videos for free on YouTube. 
But I try to get, you know, I open a Patreon account and things to get away from troll devils like you, Charles. And, oh, how dare you? You're not feeding the sheep anymore. Wicked, wicked stinking devil. 37, Psalm 37, verse 25. We'll go back there. It doesn't even apply to me. It's ridiculous. You know, Jesus is trying to teach Peter about the thing of denying him three, three times. It's what's going on in that passage? I haven't denied Jesus three times. Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been... Make sure I got the right one here. Psalm 37, verse 25. Yep, that's what he had. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread? Yeah, I don't beg bread. That means I guess I shouldn't ask people for money. Shouldn't ask to have the ministry supported. I have told you my dream. I have warned you of what will happen. It's up to you. This warning I have done what was according to Ezekiel 3.18 KJV about warning the wicked and things and stuff. We're not even going to go there. You can go there if you want to. But I've read enough of this moron. Okay. I'm, I got a verse for you there, Charles. Jude chapter 1, verse 8. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. I'm not a dignity in the sense of a... a you know, politician or something, a king or a prince or whatever else, but I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. I'm an elder in the body of Christ. The fruit that this ministry has produced is clearly seen. It is clearly visible. Lots of people have gotten saved. Lots of people turned to the King James Bible. And you have the audacity to say that God gave you a dream about my marriage busting up. Let me tell you something, punk. You don't know the first thing about my marriage. You don't know what my wife and I have been through together and how strong our relationship is. And for you to say that she's, I would, she would get offended over font things or whatever else and leave me because of that, she just got done translating, doing work for me for a few days. It took her to do this thing. In between all the other duties that she has, she just translated a thing, changed the font for me. You know, this, this whole thing, all these people that have come out against me, and they just continue to watch and watch and watch, and every little thing I do, they have to watch. You morons are watching me right now, aren't you? You're watching right now, and your blood pressure's all up, and you're, oh, he's a heretic, I told you he's a heretic. And get a life. Well, first of all, you need to get saved, because you're not saved. The Holy Spirit is not leading any of you people to continue attacking me, going after my marriage. Where's this stuff at in the New Testament? A man that is in heretic after the first and second admonition, reject. If you've admonished me, there have been people that have admonished me that, that, that try to, you know, say I was wrong on whatever else, and they go their way. They go their way. They don't continue to watch everything I do. You people are obsessive compulsive. All right, you are truly, seriously, mentally ill. To write this kind of thing... I mean, it's insane. I just question every little thing. Look at every little thing I do. You think that you're going to stop me by doing that? You think that you're going to wear down my resolve? This stuff only makes me stronger. You see? It fills me with righteous indignation. I mean, do you really think the Holy Spirit of God is leading you people out there to go after my marriage? And to go after my son? One more verse I want to go to here. <clears throat> Romans chapter 3, verse 8. And not rather as we be slanderously reported. And as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come. You idiots out there that try to say that I'm doing evil, that good may come and things like this. You're lying about me, just lying all the time. Whose damnation is just? 
Have a nice day.